what's up everyone welcome back to the wordle gauntlet um i just wanted to say once again thanks for everybody for viewing um and if you continue to enjoy it like comment and subscribe um our first video of the series just reached 800 views which is modest yet um quite an achievement so thank you for that um we continually get uh more and more subs and things of the like uh so you know, comment around, say something. Maybe there's something you like. Maybe there's a discussion we're having. Maybe you want to tell me about who you think your team's going to pick today in the NFL draft, who you're excited about. I personally love the draft. and like to watch every second of it um, because, you know, you get to tell people about, you know, people's 40 times and shit. It's great. Anyway, we only got one vowel. So uh, that's not great. Uh. Hmm. Ch -ch -ch. Zesty. We're doing it. Full sending. Oh my god, it's Zesty. Okay. You know what? I was just, I was actually heckled yesterday for how long it took me to get one the other day. And um, I would like to just turn our attention to this one that I got just, you know, off the cuff. Now, I have no idea what this is. Uh, um, what, what are we even looking at here? I know, it, it looks like it might be like a, a fencing sword. Uh, this might be Princess Bride. Doesn't look like it's Princess Bride. The Princess Bride? The Corpse Bride. I don't know why we don't have the Princess Bride as an option, but it should be. I was also thinking that movie with... um. Uh, I was thinking that one too. Oh, this is aliens, or a I think it's aliens, right? Alien three. It's one of the alien movies. I mean, this is a pretty famous shot. It's it's alien something. Alien Resurrection. Okay. Well, that's disappointing because I knew it was a fucking Aliens movie, but I haven't seen them in forever. But Alien Resurrection. We're two for two. I would have gotten this immediately, too. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, I thought what I knew was simple. And I feel like I don't belong. That's really sad. Love me some Lisa Loeb. Great glasses on that on that woman. Um, this is my first guess. Oh my lord! Um, it is ten thousand kilometers. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how I go from Malaysia to Croatia, but Croatia did it. Um, I know. I know this portion. I didn't know that this went over like this, but Croatia. So two guesses. We're three for three. Um, Pablo Lopez pitched really be uh, good for me yesterday. So we're going to National League, right-handed, not a pitcher. Or uh, I'm sorry, throw is right-handed, but it is a right-handed bat. Um, uh, put Darren Ruff. Right-handed first baseman for the United States in the NL. Central. Um, at get rid of Dan Vogelbach. Get rid of Keston Hira. Um, Frank Schwindel. Frank Schwindel. All right, four for four. As always, we start with AJ Green. We're in the NFC. Um, see NFC North. It was Aaron Jones. Let's go. 
I don't know why Aaron Jones was like the second thing I thought of. So running back in the AFC, taller than five foot nine. Um, Clyde Edwards Olaire. AFC West running back, older than twenty three. Um, uh, with the Chargers. Uh, I'm guessing it's not Austin Eckler. God damn it. That'd be a little bit too easy. So who's the other running back on the roster? It's, I'm pretty sure his last name is Jackson. Shit. Not Kareem Jackson, Robert Jackson, Tristan Jackson. Hmm, Michael Jackson Sr. Hmm. Who is their other running back on the roster? He's like about six. Uh, he's 5'11". And 24 or 25. Number is 25. <sighs> Pretty sure his last name is Jackson. Hmm. Joe Jackson. Hmm. Can someone confirm for me? Whoever is viewing me right now. It's probably Ryan or Pettis. Can we confirm that there's a Jackson running back? Billy. How Billy Bird, I've been talking like this. Something like that. That's the best I had. I always assume Bert, assume Bert was B-U-R-T. Is it B-I-R-T? If it is. What's the, what's the other running back's name from the Chargers? Pretty sure it's Jackson. Something Jackson. Did they, or did they just sign someone? And I'm just unaware of the signing, which is 100% possible. I got Larry Roundtree, Justin Jackson. That's what I thought. Yeah, I guess he's not there anymore. I would have seen Justin. I would have, so they, obviously they signed someone and I just don't know who they signed. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to put Lavishka Chenault just because I want to. Uh, so who's another running back who's like 24, 25? Probably like a perennial backup because he's not offsetting Austin Eckler. Probably a pure runner because um, they wouldn't be... Where's Daryl Henderson still with the Rams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's 24 years old, too, so that helps, I guess. Um, I didn't know LaVishka Chenault was 6'1". You learn something new every day. Um, I mean, because they definitely didn't have four running backs on their roster, right? They drafted Larry Roundtree recently. Then Eckler's their main running back, and they got Justin Jack or had Justin Jackson, so they had to get someone to take Justin Jackson's place, who's relatively young. Uh, I don't know. So that is Aaron Stinney. Who's that? Aaron Patrick. Cool. I just simply don't know. Joshua. Oh, Josh Kelly. I should have gotten that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, he was there last year, absolutely 100%. So I, I know Ryan rostered him, I think, for a while. Interesting. Silhouette? Oh, this isn't giving us a whole lot. I, I got nothing. 
Yikes. Dario Sarge has long hair, but it's just the person I thought of. Uh, 2930, 2120 in the West. Uh, Uh, that's specific again. He's a guard in the West, and he's like six foot six. Um, take a look at this again. He looks a little bit like Michael Carter Williams, but I don't think. Yeah, he's is he not even in the NBA? Okay. Let's just try to find a team here. Okay. So, he used to play for Portland at one point. And he is 29 or 30. Hmm. Not in the Northwest, so he'd have to be in the Southwest. <laughs> Not like, you know, fucking location means anything to these fucking people. Um, he's not old enough. This isn't right, but... Okay. So who do we else do we have in the Southwest? Is that Spurs? Of course, he also had to be exactly 28 years old, so fuck me. Um... I guess the Pelicans are part of this too. Oh man, this is this is close. There's a six six guard. That's not who I wanted. Is it? I said McCollum before you said McCollum. Just want you to know that. Who else they got down there? Um, they got Ingram, who never played for Portland. Uh, Zion, obviously. Um, Jonas Valanciunas, of which it's not. Um, who's their point guard over there? Oh. Six foot six. Brandon Ingram's got the like the the dread thing going on. So he's a, a bench player that used to play for Portland. Six foot six guard. Wonder if he's like a role player. <laughs> Potal does it again. Makes me look like an idiot. Hmm. I do a good enough job myself. I don't need any help. Potal. Hmm. Initially, I thought this was like a white dude, but I'm not 100% sure that's true. We're bailing on this one too. G. Shay. Tony Snell. First of all, let's 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 Zach Zach Levine is with Chicago. Is that who you're talking about? I think that there might Tony Snell used to play with the Bucks. I had no idea he was still playing basketball. Um, because he played with the Bucks like a hundred years ago. I have no idea how he could only be thirty years old. He also played with the Bulls. And it looks like the Pistons. I so, Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit, Atlanta. He's kind of a journeyman. How many games? He started two games. Played 18 and a half minutes per game. Played in 15 games. Uh, average. Okay, so his entire career. Look at this. Six points. Two and a half. Three and a half. Five. Eight. Six. Seven. Eight and a half. Five and a third. Or five. Yeah, five and a third. Six. Four and a half. Like... No offense, Tony Snell. You're, you've not been much of a pro here, buddy. Although in 
2020, he shot 57% from three. He played 21 minutes. I mean, look, he averaged eight points in 28 minutes per game. Like, Trey Young played 30 here and got 20. Like, what the fuck? That is not efficiency at its best. Ignore all of the RuneScape and Tyson Chicken Nugget advertisements and will leave. Holy shit, there's a lot of advertisements on this page. Um, so we started off hot. We didn't have a hurdle today, which is sad, which I would have gotten that 100% correct because I love my chick rock, okay? It's not chick pop, sad chick pop, chick stuff. Anyway, um, we will be back doing this tomorrow, hopefully with some positive things to say about the draft today. Um uh, because hopefully the Packers get themselves a wide receiver and possibly a tight end by the name of uh, Waller, Darren Waller. My brain just went blank. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, do the things. Um, let me know uh, if you knew that Tony Snell still played basketball. All right, deuces. See you next time.